Welcome back. We're celebrating 100 years of Disney magic this Halloween by bringing back some of the classics, like Huey, Dewey, and Louie giving Donald a scare in 1952's Trick or Treat. Speaking of treats, food and Disney, they go hand in hand, from the magical treats at the parks to the unforgettable animated dishes from their movies. Here to peel back the curtain on some <laughs> fan favorites mm -hmm. is unwrapped Mark Summer. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you, Whoopi. And I see that you are all diving in already and eating. Yes. And we're going to start with Ratatouille, 2007 yeah, so movie, oh, yeah. classic of all time. And uh, I am playing the part today of Linguini, and I helped Remy uh, in the kitchen. Uh, and of course, Ratatouille started in the south of France. It was kind of a peasant's meal where they would take old vegetables and steam them. But because Thomas Keller, who's one of the top chefs in the world, helped in uh, on the Pixar and Disney movie, this is what uh, Remy made. And he took it to Anton Ego, who was the uh, uh, the critic, the food critic of the time, and it reminded him of his childhood, and he loved it. And it just goes to prove that anybody can cook, even a rat in a kitchen. <laughs> you know? yeah. So, uh, how's it taste? You like oh, it? Oh, it's delicious. I love it. I love it. That's fantastic. So now we're going to move over to Alice in Wonderland. Two things premiered in 1951, Alice in Wonderland and me. So we're both about the same age, and my <laughs> wife's name is Alice, so it works easy. And uh, what we have here are the Eat Me Cookies. If you remember, she wasn't tall enough to reach the key, and there was a, a box there with the Eat Me Cookies. Mm -hmm. She ate it, and she grew very, very tall, and that's how it happened. She also did it with the White Rabbit. A lot of crazy things going on in that movie for uh, a being... Yeah. A Weird okay. mushrooms. Yeah, a lot of weird mushrooms <laughs> going on there, a hundred percent. So, uh, and there are still classics uh, today uh, out there. Now, our next one is from Enc Encanto. Now, Encanto won uh, the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, yeah. and uh, also <laughs> uh, Lin Manuel Miranda, who did uh, uh, Hamilton, yeah. wrote all the music. And you love this show, don't you? I do. I yes. love Lin Manuel, and I love Encanto. And mm -hmm. so, the correct pronunciation, I'm going to have you do it because you're better at it than me, is arepa right? con queso. Oh, very. You do it much better than me. I'm glad I'm with you. <laughs> Which so, means arepa with cheese. With cheese. And so this is basically the uh, the daily bread uh, of Colombia. And it's basically made out of corn. Mm -hmm. This one does have cheese in it. You can put different wow. things in it. And now we're going to go over to a movie from uh, 2009. It was called The Princess and the Frog. Yeah. And uh, yes. you remember that one? Uh -huh. And Sienna uh, wanted to open up a restaurant in New Orleans. Yes. And she made mm -hmm. beignets. And mm -hmm. if you've ever been to New Orleans, it's a classic down there. You can get these at the Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts in the shape of Mickey, of course. Oh. Or try the beignets filled with lemon cream and topped with oh. a lemon glaze at Tiana's Palace in Disneyland. And so now we're going to move over to a classic. If you go to uh, one of the character breakfasts at uh, Disneyland, Disney World, uh, you will have the Mickey, uh, now they're waffles. They started off as pancakes in the oh, 70s. Yeah. And they got the Imagineering uh, team oh. from Disney, which makes great rides. They fix everything at the park. And they found out a way to make the best Disney waffles. As a matter of fact, if you go to shopdisney.com, you can actually get a Mickey waffle maker, and you can make them at home uh, on your own. Uh, the the real oh. recipe has never been released, so you can have some fun and uh, try and do that as well. And finally, we have uh, the pineapple with These are recreations of what's in the park. And in 1976, Dole started to sponsor the Enchanted Tiki Room. And at the time, they were only serving fresh pineapple and pineapple juice. But they came up with this fantastic uh, whipped uh, process here. And it's very soothing. And it's, it's a sorbet. It's basically a sorbet. And you can get them at Disneyland or at Disney World. And there's a walk down through Disney parks. Anyway, so there it is. Hope you had a good time. Amazing. Hope you enjoyed the food. So and uh, it's this is so good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You Thank you, Mark. Thank, Thank you. you Mark. So you can catch Mark on his podcast, Mark Summers Unwraps, anywhere you listen to podcasts. And thanks to our food stylist, Jackie Akula.